Okay, so today we are going to go through some terminology in networks. So we're going to look at the syllabus.msn2 um, and look at the terminology regarding networks. So firstly, what is a network? Well, a network is simply a diagram that connects multiple things. For example, below down here, we are connecting multiple places. We are connecting Broken Hill to Port Macquarie, um, Port Macquarie to Sydney. So it's just a diagram um, that connects multiple places. Um, it consists of vertices and edges. So a vertice or vertex or node, there's different words for them that all mean the same thing, is just the point which, as we can see in red, is the position where the place is. And then the edges are the pathways between the two places or the, between the nodes. So here, this node is known as Port Macquarie and the edge connecting it to the node Broken Hill is this one here with a value of 570. So again, as we can see in this diagram here, the edge is the line connecting the two vertexes or the two nodes. Now a degree is the amount of lines coming out of a vertex. So we can see here in Broken Hill that this node has three lines coming out of it, which means it has a degree of three. Here, Albury has two lines coming out of it, so it has a degree of two. Uh, here we have a loop. And a loop is an edge that comes back to the same vertex. So as we can see, this edge starts here and it comes back around to the same vertex. So it is considered as one edge. But if you have a look at the node, it has one, two, three, four lines coming out of it, which means it has a degree of four. So although the loop is only one edge, it will count as two degrees. Um, a directed edge has an arrow associated to it and it means you can only go in that direction. So if I was to travel from A to D, I could go from A to E along here, but I could not go from E to D because the direction is going in the opposite way. So we would have to go from A to E, E to C, C to D. You cannot go in the opposite direction to the arrow. An undirected network just means that there's no direction set to it. So you could travel both ways. You can go from A to B or B to A. When we're labeling vertices, you put a V out the front for vertex, and then you do an equal signs and then the brackets, and then you just simply label each vertex that is in the diagram. So as you can see here, they have just labeled it from alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E. And that's simply just labeling them. It's just stating which nodes are in the diagram. But when we're labeling edges, you have to include both nodes that the edges are attached to. So you would put E for edge, and then you would put A comma B into brackets because both those nodes are associated to that edge. And then you would do B to C, B to D, D to C, C to E, E to A. And finally, what is a weighted edge? So a weighted edge just has a number or a value associated to it. So this value could be cost, it could be distance, it could be time. In the diagram below, we have um, two places, Bathurst and Sydney, and this diagram is indicating that there is a value of 200 between Bathurst and Sydney. So it could be, oh, I'll just go back. It could be 200 meters, 200 kilometers. Here it's saying 200 kilometers, but it just means that it has a value, a numerical value associated to that edge. So if we're looking at this diagram and answering questions to it, 
where you consider the number of vertices. So you would just count up how many nodes in the diagram. So we have one at A, we have one at B, one at C, one at D and one at E. So that is a total of five. So there would be five vertices in this diagram. The number of edges, so you just count up how many edges there are between the, between the vertices. So from A to B, B to C, C to D, E to C, C to A, E to A and E to D. So it'd be seven. The degree of vertex C, so look at the, the vertex and see how many lines are coming out of it. We have one line here, two lines, three lines, four lines. So it would have a degree of four. And how many vertices have an odd degree? So B has a even because it only has two lines coming out of it. So not B. A has three lines coming out of it. So that's one that has an odd degree. E has three lines coming out of it, so that's also an odd degree, so that's two vertices having an odd degree. D has two, so that's not odd, and C has four, so that's not odd. So the number of vertices of odd degree is just A and E, so that's two.